Hi, and a very good day to all. We are from Group B157, and the title of our project is Safe Drive. I am Li Jiaqian, and my partner is Li Minsheng. We are second year students studying Bachelor of Electrical and Electronic Engineering at University Putra, Malaysia. The case study that we chose is Case Study 2, Road Accidents. There are a few reasons why we chose this title. The number of road accidents in Malaysia is increasing every year and cause many deaths. Selangor State hits the highest number of road accidents in Malaysia, followed by Johor State and Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur. According to studies and report, more than 6,500 people dead as a result of road traffic crash yearly in Malaysia. Besides that, 50% of total death counts caused by road accidents are youth. Moreover, 80% of road accidents were caused by human negligence. The main causes of road accidents in Malaysia include speeding, usage of mobile phones while driving, drunk driving, fatigue, and so on. Therefore, we have proposed a solution to reduce the number of road accidents in Malaysia. We have designed a mobile application called Safe Drive Mobile Application. In this application, the user can ask for help during emergency circumstances. For example, they can easily call for a buddy driver through the apps to avoid drunk driving. Besides that, towing services are also available when their vehicle is broken down. Moreover, this application allows family members to track the location of the driver. The real-time location of the driver is shared to, with the family members for some safety reasons. Next, this mobile application will limit the mobile phone usage when the driving mode is enabled. The smartphone will, en will enter silent mode to avoid distraction until arriving at the destination. And the most interesting part of the Safe Drive mobile application is the driver can collect points when driving mode is enabled. The points will be recorded on an online scoreboard and the user may compete with their friends. The driver will receive points when they are driving safely. Otherwise, the points will be deducted when speeding. Now, let's have a look at how our application works. To make this application workable, some technologies are needed. Firstly, connected mobile apps. Besides, to make our mobile phones keep connected, for sure we will deal with the Internet of Things. Moreover, emergency services in Malaysia are also needed. Next, I am going to propose the business model of our project. The main revenue of our Safe Drive project is from the subscription-based model. This mobile app offers cheap monthly subscription to become a premium user to access to more features. With this subscription-based model, the company can earn fixed monthly revenues. For premium users, they can call the buddy driver just with a few clicks and share real-time locations with their family members and also call nearby towing services. 
whereas for free users, they can only limit their mobile phone usage and also collect points when the driving mode is enabled. On the other hand, our Safe Drive project can also be a business-to-business -business model. This application can deal with other automotive companies to have this built-in function in their vehicles. Moving on to the market segments, we will discuss on the target customers. In this pre-development stage, we can only focus on Malaysia, particularly Malaysians. And this project is targeting new drivers who just got their driving license, especially the teenagers. Parents are also one of the target users and they can monitor their child's driving habits and check whether they are speeding or not. Moving on to the competitor analysis, we will discuss based on the SWOT analysis. The strengths of our project are, firstly, it is user-friendly. The design of the mobile app is very simple and easy to be used as has presented in the GUI as shown in the video. And it is accessible to everyone as it can be installed for free. And the weakness of the project is the safe drive application cannot detect the alcohol level of the driver automatically because there is no built-in sensors in the car. There are also some opportunities for our project. In this era, everything is going digitalized and people like to follow the trend. Moreover, the safe drive application is accessible to larger groups of consumers and most probably will expand to overseas markets. And lastly, the threat that we might face is that the user might lose interest after using it for a long period. And therefore, we should keep updating the application from time to time and add more new features that met the consumer's expectation. And a good product should always have improvements. There are some potential improvements that can be made. Firstly, this safe drive mobile app can be improved by working with hardware, such as sensors and also cameras. For example, an alcohol sensor can be installed in the vehicle to measure the alcohol level automatically. This could prohibit the driver from ground driving. Moreover, a camera can be installed to measure the driver's tightness level to prevent fatigue when driving. Next, this mobile application can constantly design and also upgrade more features and functions such as car crash detection and also the emergency calling systems. And lastly, when the project runs successfully, the target user can be widened to like elder people and also the disabled people. Moreover, it can also target for overseas market. So here comes the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time and attention. Save your life, save others.